Hey guys, today we are at Shock Twice to look at the amazing Hikaru no Go from Hex Collectibles. Hex Collectibles, as you know, is quite well known for their Naruto statue and I'm quite happy that they eventually into something brand new such as the Hikaru no Go license. Now let's talk about this statue. It is in 1-6 scale as you can see here, but it's actually quite big and tall compared to what you are coming to expect from a 1-6 statue. This statue actually has quite a lot of things going on for it, but let's talk about the base first, right? The two main characters are actually sitting on top of a Japanese garden and if you look at the base itself, it has a very nice textured, realistic sand texture there and also multi-coloured stones and there's also a very nice resin-like finish on the Japanese pond there as well. Coming back to the overall statue, there is a very big sun cycle behind Fujiwara no Sai, one of the main characters here as you can see and if you look closely at the sun cycle here, you will see also the same emblem of the clouds right next to the sun cycle on both the left and the right okay now let's talk about the main character itself before we go there Head Collectibles has actually gone for a very anime like in terms of the overall finish and also look for the two characters so Fujiwara no Sai I have to say the face sculpt is pretty much spot on I really like the face sculpt of Fujiwara no Sai or Sai is called in the show he looks quite good sharp nose and very um, anime like eyes on his face. In terms of the scalp, there is a very realistic folding like uh, scalp on his clothes as you can see here. So it's waving in the wind, right? It is actually quite cool. And he is actually almost like leaping off the cypress tree and he's guiding Hiraku Hikaru on the next step that he wants to play on the Go Bond itself. So overall, I'm actually quite happy at how Sai has turned up on the overall scalp and also the highlights on the colors on his clothes and there's actually a very big mantle on top of his head as you can see that it's translucent so if you actually put a light shining behind the statue you will actually have a very nice effect on both the sun cycle and also on sign itself now let's go on to the main character and that is of course Hikaru Hikaru has his very unique signature blonde highlights on his fringe as you can see here and he also has that big anime eyes as we've seen from the show itself what I really like about um, Hikaru is he's wearing his unique, iconic yellow uh, t-shirt that you've seen from the show. But of course, if you look closely at his t-shirt as well, you will be able to see that it also has the same folding uh, fabric sculpture as we've seen from Sai as well. So let's carry forward together. You will see a lot of creases here and there and the highlights as well has been done. So it's not just one yellow color on the t-shirt. So it looks pretty good. Of course, the main centerpiece here is um, Hikaru holding the ghost stone like a master. He is actually playing black, the black ghost stone here. So he is actually trying to go for his big ultimate divine move as you've seen from the anime. So overall, it looks like a very cool, unique posture that he's confident that his next move is going to win the match, right? Finally, of course, the go board itself. It looks like wood, but it's not actual wood, obviously. So it looks very realistic, like wood's texture on the uh, eight diagram. Um, this is the particular table that's sitting on and also on the go board. So in terms of the gold pieces there as well, you can see the um, gold stones in white and black. It actually has a very nice gloss finish overall. And I'm not too sure whether this is going to be something that is able to play and movable, or is it gonna be permanent? So this is still a prototype so uh, we have to see what will be the final piece that looks like it if there's anything that i would wish to have in this particular piece is that i kind of wish that we also have the, his main antagonist character in this overall piece and that is akira toya unfortunately we only have sai and also hikaru so maybe well has collectibles you know you want to release the next piece of hikaru standing here battling it out with sai and in case you're wondering, hey, this is an amazing piece because frankly speaking, you won't be able to find a statue like this, especially Hikaru no Go lessons in the market. You should be able to get this out from Shock Toys, which I'll tell you later how you can actually order this. I'll invite Mr. The Big Boss from Shock Toys to come in and give you a big tips on how you can actually order this from his shop. So Kevin, thank you for having us here to preview this amazing looking water skate prototype of Hikaru no Go. Can you tell our fans how much this statue costs and when is the last day for pre-order? Okay, thanks Michael. Right. The pre-order price for this piece, this amazing piece, is RM3358. You can pre-order until the date of 20th of January 2022. Okay, yeah. fantastic. So if fans here in Malaysia would like to have a look at this particular piece, they can, can they come to the shop and have a look at this? Yes, yes, we are open and then this will be displayed in our gallery. 
So any fans that would like to check it out can certainly come over to have a look. We have a, a range of uh, so many statues here and this is our centerpiece. So please, you are more than welcome to come over. One very last important question, what is the most attractive piece that you like about this particular statue? Well, if you are a fan of the, the anime itself, unfortunately, I just learned about this about one week back, right? But it's quite interesting at how they have made uh, an anime series and a very popular anime series uh, there from a board game, you know, and, it's a, and this board game, which is called Go, Go Board, right? Go yes. Board, is actually 2,500 years old, okay, in chi from China. So quite interesting that how they can make this into such an amazing and interesting anime. And this statue itself actually has everything that you need if you're a fan. Right, you got the main two characters, right, and then you got the board itself. So the pose and all that is very dynamic, right? It shows that you know he's playing it. Even if you look at the fingers, he's actually holding the, the stones, stones, the stones, you know. So like he's actually in the in the in the competition in a tournament, and you can see all this uh, uh, where you have all the stones in in uh, for dif the different colors and all that, and you have. The oh what? Fujiwara no Sarai. Fujiwara no Sarai. Okay, in his traditional Japanese costume, right? Because he was from the Hideo uh, era. So everything is there and it comes with a nice, nice backdrop, you know, uh, with this dove and the trees and the, the, the fan. So it's just not a, a, a piece itself, it's actually a, quite a work of art. If you are for a fan that, that loves this uh, anime, I uh, definitely right. agree. This is definitely a composition piece because it is not the usual Western license like yeah. DC and Marvel. So, yes. this particular piece, I agree with you, Kevin. The dynamic mm. pose of Fujiwara no Sai and Natsuki yeah. Karo is really amazing. Yeah. So, that's it for this particular preview. We hope you like this preview. And if you would like to come and get this particular piece, come to the Shop Twice Gallery. We put the address and the website address down below. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment down below. Thank you. Right. Thank you.